Hi friends. We are at 49,996 subscribers right now. We're going live. I don't have any battery. We're going live right now. I'm going into the bunker. I'm so excited right now. This is a massive deal. This is a straight up massive deal. Oh good, it's open. Look at friends, look at. <laughs> Morning, friends. We got uh, we got the dumpster. Morning. How you doing, Nick? Wonderful. Nick's got a muffler for us here, friends. He put together for the 372, and we're doing little bits of power saw videos and stuff right now. Uh, I go back to work tomorrow. I, I'm just gonna get at it. I think I've, I I think I'm good enough. I'm just gonna have to really take it easy. But these are the types of videos we've been doing. Uh, trying to keep content going for you guys. I know you guys like power saws, so and you guys love dumpster so <laughs> friends <laughs> look at the day look at it just finishing up a video for you guys okay but but listen i'm interjecting right off the hop um 50,000 people 49, 49,998. 5,000 and two, we did it! <laughs> we just did it, friends! 5,000 for 50,000 and two! <laughs> <laughs> I got home yesterday, me and Hogan, we had a great day. I've just, that's what's on the video, okay? We spent some time with Bear Claw yesterday up at his, his, his property, his beautiful property up there. Um, Bear Claw ported the Halts Pharma. Okay. I gave it to the Claw to run. He took it out falling for a couple of days. He liked it. He did. He liked it. Um, he's been running 72s and 90s for forever, you know, for a long time. Um, it's a different saw. It, it's a different saw. You'll see it in the video. We, we, we just do. We come home. We come home from Bear Claws. You'll see in the video. And, uh, and we just jump right on to give it a run. But it. It's not doing it just I mean, we're going to get it in the wood thursday i'm going back to work okay thursday it's tuesday today I'm taking a couple of days you'd be proud of me you would be I'm, I'm relaxing a bit it's tough it's hard listen bob and elaine you wonderful people friends everybody on the channel soldiers of kindness i want to do a shout out to the folks that I'm working for over there, Bob and 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 they, <laughs> Elaine, Eileen, Elaine, she's gonna knock me out when I go back there. Bob and Eileen, Elaine, <laughs> they're wonderful folks. They are. They're just. They're wonderful. Uh, Bob has known me since and Andy since I've been a little kid. Our, our we went to school. Me and his kids. They're so nice, easy to work for, just grateful and very nice folks. 
I want to say hi to them and a massive shout out. They now watch the channel, friends, okay? Let's say hi to our friends that we're logging for right now. Bob, thank you. Elaine, thank you so much. Thanks for the cookies. I think we were there two days and she's bringing out cookies. It was awesome. She's great. So let's let's say hi to them, friends. As a community, I want to say hi to Bob and Elaine. Okay, Eileen. Oh. <laughs> anyway, friends, over and out. Back to the show. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for all your support and the 50,000 subscriber party we had live feed yesterday. It was a blast. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Bobinski, you were sleeping over in the UK while we were giving you an axe. You are the 50,000 subscriber axe giveaway guy. Bobinski Brooks from the U freaking K, Bobby. Bobby, we love you sincerely, pal. All joking aside, Bob, thank you for your years of support and your heartfelt comments and your, just your love, buddy. You're a good man. You are, you're a good man. Thank you for your support, my friend. You support my, my family, my Nana, you know, Nana and Mom and everybody you do. You're a good man and we love you. You're getting an ax and it's a beauty. Over now, friend. I thought I would, Nick's got his days off. He's created this nice little muffler, friends. He, he's getting pretty trick with them too, I'll be honest. But uh, he's gonna do some interesting things. We are, I mean, Something that looks pretty, that's fine. Me and the Iron Horse were talking about it. You know, it looks like a piece of jewelry. It looks great. It's going to sound great. But does it do anything is the question. That's, that's what's most important. Does it do anything? So we're always on the quest to pull a bit more power somehow we're along the line. And exhaust is amazing what you can do with exhaust. So we're just playing around like that today and we got this little muffler that that Nick made and he's even got screens on it for the warm weather so we don't burn the trees and he's got these nice and short which is good um, yeah so that's what we're doing I got I'll be right back Nick. yeah you're gonna have to trim your top cover eh what? really yeah well even the 94s and the 68s Explain what you're doing to them. so Pull this thing off. Ken's, this thing's clean. Off the bolts. I find it easier doing it this way than bolting it right up to the cylinder and trying to do it. Now you can line it up. Did I leave you hanging? Oh no, it's all good. Just trying to get everything started so it's lined up before I torque it down. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. You guys still on. You guys had to sit here and, and watch Nick. <laughs> Did you talk to people, Nick? A little bit. Oh I'm he's, shy. He's a little shy, friends. I'm getting better. That's why I left you a little test. <laughs> so we'll see what this will sound like. It looks good. He says I got to trim my top cover. I'm not too excited about it. You can put a 66 cover on it. You got one that's already trimmed. On one of my saws or lying around? Because that's a nice cover, man. I know. So where do I get, why do I got to trim it? You might get away with, oh, you might just barely make it actually. Looking at this. Let's see. We'll see. Because I know even like my 94 cover mm -hmm. has been trimmed. As he does it. Wrecking ball. They call him the wrecking ball because he breaks things. That work. Don't break them here. It's blown off a couple things at the mill. Yeah, the wrecking ball. <laughs> Dumpster the wrecking ball. So friends, There's a funny story listen, behind that nickname. I'll bet there is. What is the story, Nick? You may as well tell us. The camera is on for you. You tell your story, Nicholas. Well, seeing as my last name's Hannah. Ah. Duh. Yes, yes. Miss Hannah Montana. Everyone started calling me Montana, or then Hannah Montana at yeah. work. 
And uh, when I first started running line three, it's only two guys that run it. There's a lathe operator and the guy that runs down and checks everything on the line. Yep. <coughs> One of the first shifts I was running it, they have the full sheet stack, as they call it, where it's like basically a sheet of veneer the size of a sheet of plywood. Yep. What they call a half sheet stacker, so it's half the width of a sheet of plywood. Mm. So <laughs> I left for break. That thing totally exploded. Yeah. And my crew captain at the time, because my nickname was Han or Montana or Hannah Montana, <laughs> as soon as I walked into the break room, he started playing Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus <laughs> yeah, right I got at the it. course. I figured that was coming. <laughs> I love it. Good times. Oh, I see because of that, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that looks Talk deadly. about that. That looks funny. Pretty good. I planned it that way. Pretty good. <laughs> well, maybe not. That oh no, it's good. It's good. We fed friends. Look. I could have. I could have angled the pipe out the front. A no, you don't bit want more, to. But you, you don't want to. You want to keep them tight like that. That that's actually not bad. That that'll be interesting. We'll see how that sounds, friends. These mufflers, friends, unless you do something on the inside, um, it 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 makes them flow good. But you, there's some things you can do. To create a bit of a pull. We're gonna try it. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna try some different stuff. The claw, the claw turned me on to that stuff years ago, and that's part of you know that hot rod muffler of mine off of the '72, friends. It creates pull and snap because it has a bit of a tunnel, so it's almost like a. And the '94, oh yeah, the '94 pulled better after that muffler went on it. 100%. Yeah, it did. What do we do with the old muffler? It's still there. It's still there. Oh hey friends, uh, uh, I'm just gonna ship no hishkana hishkana. Guess what? You're in the bunker, but this here we have a a thing for a man named John Posty. We call him Posty. His name is John. He's a big man. Uh, he's going to swing the double bit axe and break the wood with it. And John Post, your axe is here, my friend. And another thing, a 75 year old man named Drew Halverson. Bought an axe and said, Billy Ray, I want one of your special axes. Drew, it was on the uh, channel the other day, and you have it. Uh, Mr. Um, Blazing Stars, uh, they call you Blazing Stars. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I can see kind of why they do call you those things. Because you are a star in the sky. Uh, friends, Blazing Star, the other day I'm here, the truck comes from the mail, you know, the post truck, the big one. He broke a tree, by the way, on the driveway. Billy was out, Sven was here doing things, and he drops this box off from the Blazing Star. He The Blazing Star heard me talking about wanting to make my own handle, handles, you know, Billy, and making the axe handles and that. This shows up in a box, friends, brand new in a box. Blazing Star, Josh Frazzoli, you dirty, rotten sucking. Thank you, my friend. Can you believe this, friends? Let's thank the Josh. The blazing stars. Over and out. Pretty shiny, keeping the sparks off the trees. We are going to try this power saw now, and the friends, so we are going to cut something. Hold on to this. Hold on to this. I'm going to see if I can start a power saw. No, no. Yeah, I can. No, yeah. We'll go to work tomorrow. No to Hogan, you know as well as I do, if you tell Buck and he can't do something, it's going to make him want to do it more. What about a. Uh, <laughs> This has got a compression button in it. What's that? You gonna run the 120 tomorrow? How's it feel?
doesn't quite have the bark they do without the screens, but it sounds nice. Yeah, the, the, yeah, it does, doesn't it? But as far as doing anything for power, it sounds nice and looks good. Runs a little cooler. Looks good, Nick. Nice job, buddy. Very nice. But I mean, this can go on what? A 66? 61, 66, 72. But the 72, I believe, is the only one in that series that doesn't run studs out of the cylinder. Because like the 66 is it's got a full length stud that goes all the way through with a nut on the front. Yes, right? yes, right. But you can do them for any of them. It just depends. It looks good, doesn't it? But it looks in everything, friends. Got to have power. It's got to work. You don't want to lose. And that's what we talk about when, when we talk about exhaust. We talk about wanting to get gains somehow. Taking off, babe? Over to... Uh, I have Heather. Heather, that's right. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Bye, babe. Bye. She has this bark. Do you. Clocks. Oh. Friends. Yep. Yeah, this is our... Olympic from our man, Mr. McClellan. Mr. McClellan, uh, <laughs> you sent your friend from the Okanagan to, uh, with this Olympic from the Italy. Here we go, friends. First pull. Okay, so now. First pull. First crank, she has a spark. Hey, buddy, here it is. The Olympic. Look at this thing. We got it on it. Is it turned on? Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> I can't believe that. We may have to, we may have to set it. Yeah. Yeah.
Wow, she pulls back on the starter hard. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. There we go, my friend. It runs great. It sounds it, nice. It sounds nice. It sounds neat. It's uh it's an Olympic 284, and I believe it's an F. And the only reason I see, that's definitely an 80 cc saw. 84 cc. 81. Was it 81? Yeah, 81. There was something around that one. Like because the 284 goes 284, and how it is is it ends right there. So this would be 284, but it's 284 F. There's an F there. So this is the the the, the F. No, I think Olympic's separate than OEMI. Oh, okay. Could be wrong. Yeah, it probably is. But there it is, friends. That was given to the channel by, I believe, is it, is it Dave McClellan or, or Chris? One of the two. I know Dave and Chris were friends, so thank you. They were both part of it because Buddy delivered it to my house. They're a neat looking saw. They're a neat looking saw. They're heavy. It's heavy. It's Italian. It's, it, it is a wonderful saw. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Buddy. Truly, thank you. That is so cool. It's got a nice home here. What a wonderful thing. You people are amazing. Thank you. She has a spark. Okay, friends. Exciting day for us. Very exciting time. This is exciting for Hogan and I. We're just up at the claws. We're leaving the claws now. We don't film up at the We're claws. We're pulling out of the compound. We're pulling out of the compound, the claws compound. I respect the man more than most men I know. He's not into being filmed. It's not his gig. We might meet him one day, I'm not sure, but at this point, I don't bother the man with the camera. I'm not into it, nor is he. But we are leaving his compound. He has just... He said, fairly aggressive pork job on the Hall's Forma there. Carry on? That's... With the what? What was it? the Hall's Forma. The Hall's Forma. Yeah. <laughs> As Hogan says, fairly uh, aggressive. Fairly aggressive. Hogan snickering on that. He likes that. So, hey, uh, Josh, Blazing Star. Uh, we just come from Bear Claws. He just walkerized. We say walkerized, but it's Bear Clawized. Um, ported and polished. Ported and polished. Aggressive port was the word he used. Yeah. And we got a muffler from Nick on it. And then we got one of Nick's mufflers. And actually, I was impressed Full with... Full wrap bar. Full wrap. It's a new saw. I well, which we've that. had. So we've, we've basically got a new Hulse Forma there. Here's the deal on the Hulse Forma, friends, if you're wondering, okay? The pistons... Uh, in I the words of uh, Bear Claw, the well, the rings and the ring, yeah, the rings were crap. The rings are junk. Crap. They weren't even the right thickness for the groove yeah. and the piston. They were rattling around in there, and they were rattling around, causing all kinds of havoc. Causing havoc. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't good. They weren't up to industry standards. That's right, Sam. That's right. Not up to industry standards. Also, what did he say about the piston, boy? I don't really know. I think I don't think there was a big problem with it, but he had a spare husky one to put in, so So did. there's there's a husky just piston for, just for reliability. Exactly. Exactly. He had it apart, so he threw a husky yeah, in it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so there's a husky piston in it now. Rings, new rings, so it's tight. And I saw a bit of I saw a bit of strange stuff on the on the on the rings, okay? Uh it's with hot. The, with the it's hot. What strange stuff did you see with the stock rings or with the on their, yeah, 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 on the on the other one. So we've turned that Halt's Forma into a different saw, and we're gonna run the I'm snubongas out of it. I'm excited to see what it does. Ganges is excited, and so am I. Over and out, friends. See you back at the ranch. Take care. Over and out. Do a quick little crack. We're ready to go right there. What are you looking for? Door, the window roller. Oh, didn't you just have it in your hand? Yeah, I did. I put it on the seat. It might be under your hat. Oh, there it is. Oh, one more keys. I'm glad I looked under there. Friends, so we're home. And what are we gonna? Well, we well, there's. So, this whole forma has now been bear clawized. And Ganges is pretty tickled with it. It's got a husky piston in it now, and it's got a port job, a fairly aggressive port job, actually. According to the man. So there's your cut. Oh, don't we have one in the back of the truck? 
Yeah, I think that'll be better. Thanks, one and we got next muffler on there, which has we've tried a couple different things with the muffler. These ports they go in, and then they um, they actually go in, and then they drop on an angle and go down a little bit. Not not a ton, not a ton, but they they it what it does is it makes the it makes the the exhaust kind of do something different before it just exits. So here's here it is. Here's the Holtz Forma. Ganges is going to fire up. I, I reckon it. It'll go without a choke. I don't think so. I think you're going to have to choke it. <laughs> Missed it. Wait till it settles in a bit. Screwdriver for us, buddy. Yeah, Please. just going to fire it.
more fuel, right? So, Thanks friends for hanging around with us and watching us do this stuff. It's all a process. It's all a learning process. We try different mufflers. Uh, they may look the same to you, but they're not. They're different inside. That's where the exhaust has to do something different to go and get out, right? So it changes, it, it changes things slightly. But once we get a dyno happening, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, this is gonna be incredible. This is going to be incredible. And we're, we're working on a dyno. That's all I can say. I can't say anything more than that. But the claw and I are, are and it, it, it's with a, a super, super good man from the channel who is a motor genius in my mind. And he's spoken of, of being able to perhaps help us with that. Um, because we want to, this is, this is really cool stuff. I, I knew after, uh, my cutting days would, 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 you know, slow down a little bit as far as production. Um, I knew that I would delve into this, you know, and, and I'm, and I'm with some just fantastic people, the bellhopper, you know what I mean? The bellhopper, the, the iron horse, bear claw, the walkers, I'm learning about more stuff. So, uh, and we all like to share knowledge. We all like to share what we, we, we know uh, and what we learn along the journey. So uh, I hope it interests you. I hope, I hope that you're interested in stuff like this. Um, I've always been an engine man. I like it. So anyway, friends, buggingbillyray.com. If you're looking for any of that stuff, I get people asking me about the hats and the t-shirts. It's very simple. If you want to, you want to look at some of the, you know, get the gullet stuff and she cut saying all those things that we've been saying over the years here, the bucking army and that you can go to buckingbillyray.com. It's pretty plain and simple. And there's a big website there and you can look at everything. The axes, the whole gamut's all there. So thanks anybody who's ever commented on the videos and supported and thumbs up and watched and done all that stuff. It's uh, it's much appreciated. We have, we have an amazing community here, an amazing community. It, amazing is the word for it. Did I say amazing? Amazing. Over and out, friends. Be kind. Here, where am I? Let's do it. Let's go live. 2% on my phone. I can't believe this. Quick warning. Friends, we got 49,996 subscribers. Let's go live right now. Here's your warning. Go.